Good morning students. Today we are going to learn English grammar. The topic is pronouns. Pronouns. Pronouns are the parts of speech that are used to replace the nouns in the sentences. They help us to stop repeating the nouns all the time. Example, I, you, he, she, it, we, they are the examples of pronouns. Example 1. Tom has a pet dog. He goes out for a walk with the dog. Here, he is underlined and highlighted. That is because we have replaced Tom with he. And he is a pronoun which is used instead of the noun. Types of pronouns. We have six types of pronouns here. They are first one personal pronoun, second possessive pronoun, third reflexive pronoun, fourth demonstrative pronoun, fifth interrogative pronoun, sixth relative pronouns. First, the personal pronouns. A pronoun referring to the person speaking is called the first person. They are I, we, me, us. A pronoun referring to the person spoken to is called the second person, that is you. A pronoun referring to the person or the things spoken of is called the third person. Examples, he, she, him, her, they, them, it. You can see the personal pronouns chart over here. That is singular I, plural we. Singular you, plural you. Singular he or she or it. In plural we use they. Second one, we have possessive pronouns. This possessive pronouns shows the possession. Example, mine, yours, hers, his and its. You can see the possessive pronouns here. These books are mine. These are my books. This gift is yours. This is your gift. This pair of shoes is here. She is the owner of the shoes. He is playing with his toys. He is the owner of the toys. That house is theirs. They are the owner of the house. This school is ours. This is our school. Here in the first sentences you can see the highlighted words. And they are the possessive pronouns. That is mine, yours, hers, his, theirs and ours. Third one is the reflexive pronouns. The action of the subject turns back onto the subject itself. Reflexive pronouns are formed by adding self to the singular or selves to the plural. Example 1. We will clean our room ourselves. Second one. You should do it yourself. The first one we have used ourselves because it is we in the beginning and it is a plural. In the second sentence, we have used yourself because you is singular there. Reflexive pronouns. A mirror shows a reflection. Reflexive pronouns show back to the pronoun. Here, the girl is standing in front of the mirror. The mirror shows herself in the reflexive pronoun. So, each personal pronoun such as I, you, he and she has its own reflexive form. That is, I changes to myself, you, yourself for singular and plural yourselves, he, himself, she, herself, one, oneself, it, itself, are, ourself, they, themselves. Fourth one, demonstrative pronouns. 
Demonstrative pronouns are used to point out the objects they indicate. The examples for this demonstrative pronouns are this, that, these, those. For the singular subject, we use this and that. For plural subjects, we use these and those. You can follow the examples for demonstrative pronouns here. First one, this is a beautiful ball. Second one, that is a racing car. Third, these flowers smell good. Fourth, those are school buses. So here, this, that is a demonstrative pronouns where it is used for singular. These, those are used for the plurals. Fifth one is interrogative pronouns. Interrogative pronouns are used for asking the questions. Example, what, which, whose, who, etc. And they are always placed before the nouns. Examples for interrogative pronouns. First one, what is your name? Second, which is your bag? Third, whose motorbike is this? Fourth, who got this ball? The words which is underlined and highlighted that is what, which, whose, who are the examples for interrogative pronouns where they are asking the questions. Sixth one, relative pronouns. This is used to add information about a noun already mentioned and it also helps in joining the two statements together. Example, who, whom, whose, which, that. Example one, she is Rima whose uncle is a pilot. Second one, this is the boy who helped me. So here the highlighted words whose, who, they have come in between the sentences and they are the relative pronouns. Now you have finished learning all the six types of pronouns. Now you have an exercise here which is related to above pronouns. Fill in the blanks with a personal or possessive or reflexive pronoun. First one, everyone liked Amelia. Dash became the first woman to fly across the Atlantic Ocean. Second, no, this is not our house. That house is Dash. Third, Shaker will call up his dad. Fourth, can you write this letter for Dash? Fifth, I can see Dash in the mirror. So, I'll give you two minutes. You are going to answer this quickly. I hope you have answered the first exercise. Now we'll move on to the second one. Fill in the blanks with a demonstrative or interrogative or relative pronoun. First one, I know that lady Dash child came first. Second one, Dash is the story I was talking about. Third, Dash wants to meet me. Fourth, Dash car do you have? Fifth, Dash apples are rotten. Come on, answer this following quickly. Hope you have got the answers. Answers are here. Exercise 1. Answer is first one, she. Second, us. Third, himself. Fourth, me. Fifth, myself. Answers for exercise 2, that is first is whose. Second, this or that. Third, who. Fourth, which. Fifth one, these or those. Come on, if you have got all the answers correct, pat your back and say very good. I hope you all have enjoyed this video and also learned the types of pronouns. Have a good day. Take care.